hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about resistor combination basically there are two types of resistor combination one is known as series combination and other is known as parallel combination so the series combination is known as resistors are connected linearly but in the parallel combination is known as resistors are connected by head to head overlapping so it means that uh, series and parallel combinations are both resistor combination in which equivalent resistance can be calculated so our purpose is to calculate the equivalent resistance whether this equivalent resistance is greater by individual resistance in series combination or in parallel combination so these two motives are very important in this topic and we will discuss separately one by one in each of the case so in the first case in the series combination as you have seen that three resistors which is known as r1 r2 and r3 i will write it here r1 r2 and r3 and these three resistors are connected linearly it means that one and one and is connected to the other end of the other resistor so but in parallel combination resistors are placed one above the other so the all the left sides or left legs of the resistor are connected to the one terminal and all the right legs are connected to the other terminal so these are combined so this is a parallel combination of uh, resistors so in this case we can calculate the equivalent resistance in case of parallel combination and in case of series combination both the cases are uh, linearly or both the cases are equally important in order to understand the equivalent resistance of the series and parallel combination so let's discuss series combination of the resistors it means in this case one resistor is connected to the other resistor in a linear way and here it is an other resistors which is known as r2 and again the third resistor which is known as r3 is connected in the linear way we can label that r1 r2 and r3 the labeling is very important because if you do not label you cannot understand the equivalent resistance when we calculate the equivalent resistance or if we want to calculate the unknown resistance from the equivalent resistance so it will be difficult for you so in this series combination all the value of current remain same in uh, from moving from all the resistors but the voltage changes so in this case voltage drop across r1 is known as v1 and voltage across resistor r2 is known as v2 and similarly voltage uh, drop across r3 is v3 so the current is known as and the current will remain same as in this case voltage will change in the series combination so you need to remember these two things in case of when in the in case of resistors when are connected in series so uh, according to ohm's law we know that v is equal to i into r so as the voltage increases the current will also changes so it means that if the resistance is same so in this case voltages are not same so v1 will be equal to i into r1 because current will remain same and uh, voltage will also be changed v1 is equal to uh, voltage drop across resistance r1 and v2 will be equal to uh, voltage drop across resistance r2 so it will be i is equal to total uh, voltage is equal to i r e which is equal in resistance and total resistance is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 and i will be cancelled out so total resistance is equal to i1 uh, r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is the equivalent resistance of series combination and so on in this case we have three resistances so the value will go to up to 3 r3 so if we go to more than 3 like if we have r4 and r5 so the equivalent resistance will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 and r5 so in this case you see that equivalent resistance will be greater than individual resistance it means equivalent resistance will be greater than r1 
alone and equivalent resistance r2 will also be greater than r2 and so on so in this in the case of parallel combination so first of all we will draw this how uh, the resistors are connected or combined in case of parallel combination so uh, resistors uh, resistances are placed uh, one above the other in order to understand its concept so this is the case in which voltages so in parallel combination voltage are same but current divides in each of the branch so in this case we will see that the resistance r1 r2 r3 are labeled so current will divide in each branch the current will go and divide it will be r i1 the in this case the current will be i2 and current passes through r3 will be i3 so the voltage same you need to understand the that what will be the value of voltage and what will be the value of current in case of parallel combination because we need to calculate the equivalent resistance so uh, the concept is that voltage remain constant in parallel combination and current changes or current divides so in this case we will apply the uh, ohms law which states that voltage is directly proportional to current if resistance remain constant so in this case resistances are changing r1 r2 and 3 these are different so according to ohms law v is equal to i r so v is v is remain same and i is equal to v over r in this case we will write like that so uh, we will find the equivalent resistance in order uh, for uh, calculating the current for every branch so current passes through resistance r1 is known as i1 so current passes through resistance r3 is known as i2 so i1 is equal to v over r1 i2 is equal to v over r2 and similarly i3 is equal to v over r3 so in this case total current will be sum of all the currents i1 plus i2 plus i3 so furthermore uh, we will calculate that what will be the total current and individual currents so value of individual current we know that and value of total current is also given so v over r equivalent is equal to v over r1 plus v over r2 plus v over r3 these are corresponding values of currents so in this case as you have seen that voltage on the right side is you know, taken as common and it can be cancelled out from the left side of the voltage so the final value of equivalent resistance can also be calculated from this expression so v over re is equal to v is taken as common 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 and so on because in this case we have three resistances that's why we are taking three resistance so v o v is cancelled out from both the sides 1 over r e is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 as you have seen that the equivalent resistance is inverse in this case as compared to series combination so we can justify that these uh, equivalent resistances is less than the individual resistance because we do not want to calculate 1 over re but we want to calculate re so equivalent resistance can also be less than the individual resistance but in case of series combination equivalent resistance was greater than individual resistance this is a big difference between the series combination and parallel combination up till now we have finished about the combination of resistors and in the next lecture we will discuss combination of